Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Starting. Let's go. Let's All talk right, about it. Guys. Episode number two. Season number one. Single versus Mary. Mary. Would you rather be single or would you rather be married? Mm. Mm. The topic. Mm. All right. Mm. So. So do I got to deal with you? Well, not. If I'm single, if I'm single, married. You have to deal with me, no, boo. Okay. I'm just asking. If I'm single, I'm doing mm. my thing, boo. I'm just asking the no questions. Back that's what's going on. That's what's going on. That's what's popping. Okay. You single, you do what you want to do when you okay. want to do it. You ain't got an answer to nobody. Mm. Okay. It's married people answer to people. What you talking about? What the hell going on in America? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> not in this house. There's <laughs> married people that don't answer to people. Not in this house. Oh, man. Here we go. Happening. You answer to me. Sorry. Oh, really? I got an answer to you. Oh. Right? We wearing rings. A lot, a lot of people wearing rings. Don't mean the answer to them. There are a lot of people in there. What we got going on don't have nothing to do with me. Okay? okay, let's go. Let's get that out there. All right. Mm -hmm. Single versus married. Yep, yeah, go ahead. All right, so what's some good things about being single? Oh! You can date who you want. You can do what you want. You, you can date who you want. When you're single. True. When you're single. When you're single, you single. That means yeah. that. Okay, what does single mean though? Because some people what? think. What? Man. No, let me say this. Man, go some ahead. Some people think that. Go ahead. Even though they have a boyfriend or girlfriend, they still classify as single, which by the Bible and by law, yes, they still Go ahead. Single. Go ahead. Is that true? Or false? But if you move in with them. No, we're not talking about that. Oh, okay, okay. Where but you if you said, get, okay. boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't know. By law and by the Bible. Go ahead, somebody, go ahead. You're still single. Write this down in the So can you date other people? You can date who you, you want. Can you date who you want. It's people married to other people. What are you talking We're about? Not talk I'm asking I'm, you. Oh, I'm just saying. Maybe I ain't saying that. We're not talking about the that. The problem is this. And this is this the problem. This is the problem. People are in relationships because of convenience. Oh, you better preach, young men, preach. People in relationships because of convenience. They don't even want to be with this person, but they in that relationship because it's convenient to them and they're used to them. Hmm. Mm. Some people been married for a long time, know they should have divorced that person, but they used to them, so they know they because of convenience. You better preach some. Somebody, somebody better preach it here. Yes. You Go better ahead. answer my question. Mm. I think when you're single. Are you when, single if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? To me, I don't think you are. Okay. All right. But. I know some people that feel like, hey, I don't have a ring on my finger. By law, you ain't put shit on paper. Uh, so, okay, go ahead. I'm single. Preach. Preach. That's how they feel. Okay? Preach. So, um, and I just got to be talking about this with a group of uh -huh. yesterday. Go ahead. Um, and so, we're talking about like some pros and cons of being single and being Ooh. married. So, Man, uh, so being single, you know, I, one of the things I brought up when we were talking is you don't have to consult with nobody. No way. So, you can make decisions. No way. You can go where you want to go. You can buy yeah. what you want to buy. Do yeah. what you want to do. Yep. You don't have to consult anybody Preach. but yourself. Because guess what? You live alone. You yep. pay your own bills. Yep. You do your, you're single. You buy yourself. Okay. Okay? Versus when you're married, you got to consult that other person. You got to deal with your tenant. And then somebody asked me why. Yeah. Because you're one. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? One unit. It's not that. He's my daddy. I'm just using this as, as an yeah, example. One unit. He's my daddy. He tells me what to one do. One unit. I have a job. I work. Yes, of course. But I still consult him. And I think that's part one of... One unit. I think that's part of being respectful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just respecting the other person. So that's that's one thing when you're single is that mm. you can make your own decisions. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Yes. You don't have to share your space. No. Okay. You don't have to share your space. Mm. You got your own space. If you want somebody over, you can have them over. If you don't, you good. Got it. Versus when you marry, you share everything. Everything. Okay? But some people say they don't share bank accounts when they marry. Oh, that's another subject. All right, listen. Single versus marriage. This is, why, this is how I look at this whole thing. When you, to me, when you make a commitment unto one person, which is, which is if you're single and you say, look, you're my boyfriend, my girlfriend, Either you're gonna have to cut everybody else off, or just be honest. Just be honest with them and say, "Look, at this present moment, I'm not looking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? We can date, we can hang out, but I'm not really looking. So I'm gonna enjoy my life 
You know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoy your life. And if it gets serious, then it gets serious. But this is what people try to do. They don't want to be honest. And be honest. Be open. And people think it's because you had sex one time that you automatically have a relationship. <laughs> that nah, that's, not only, that's only women. That is not true. I think that's only women. That is not true. But the most part is women. Because men can go but around. The Bible says. <laughs>
Period. You know what I'm saying? But happiness comes first from within. Mm -hmm. And then, if you're happy inside, you bring it out to the outside to make the other person happy. But if you're not happy with you, how can you make somebody else happy? That's true. Preach somebody, somebody go ahead. So insecurities play a big role. Oh, some play a big role. Oh. So the question is, why do people stay single so long and they have a lot of options out there? Is it because they continue to date the same type of person? No, that too, but I feel like people are picky. People want the perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, she gotta have a big booty. Oh, she Pretty gotta eyes. have a nice, oh, oh. oh yeah. Nice ears, yeah. oh, smooth skin, yeah. oh, light skin, oh, yeah. dark skin, yeah. tall, yeah. Uh, dark, yeah. I mean, they have this whole checklist about the person. It's like, that's not even what it's about. It's about your heart. And, and we, are, are, we, are, we, are, we are unperfect beings trying to be with perfect beings. So, I mean, your checklist is so perfect, but your ass ain't perfect. Right. Pre Nobody's perfect. So oh, hold on. I want to marry a man with six figures. Do you make six We're not figures? saying lower your standards. That's no, what we're, we're not saying that. We're just saying be realistic. Yes. Be realistic. Yes. Everybody that you see in the magazines, on Instagram, all this stuff is Photoshop. They didn't have surgery. Uh, they didn't have this, that. Preach. So don't let that determine who you're looking for as a person because you're worried about how the world going to look at them. Yeah. Like, you be with who you want to be with. And be happy. And get rid of that fucking checklist. <laughs> Excuse my French. Get rid of that, okay? One thing I really like about marriage is, about marriage versus being single is, we hold each other accountable. Preach. I have somebody who holds me accountable. Yeah. Um, I hold my husband accountable. Yeah. Like, I'm big on when you say you're gonna do something, follow through. Don't mm -hmm. give up, keep pushing. Like, sometimes we gotta motivate each other. So that's what I enjoy most because I know when I was single and I lived on my own, I had to push myself. I didn't have anybody saying, Courtney, don't give up. Courtney, don't do this. Like nobody was there doing that. He does that. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have that person in your corner cheering you on, cheering, cheering you on. No? So that's one of the things that I see because people always want what they don't have. Again, always. People always want what they don't have. And the grass look greener on the other side. But, but when you cross that fence, water your grass. Yeah. You water your grass. But if you cross that fence, if you cross that fence, you step in some shit. You ready to go back to the other side? So the, the question is, is if you already have grass growing on your side, water that grass. Right. Cultivate it. You know what I'm saying? Make Support love to it. Support it. Yes. Make love to it. You're not doing that on his side because guess what? I got my own grass. I do it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, no. they back into this I, I, I. I, I can mindset. take out my own trash. I can take out the trash, but I don't like to, so he does it. Yeah. So, I mean, just don't think about it like one's better than the other, but if you are single, enjoy being single. But just know that there's some cons to being single. If you're married, there's pros to being married, and sometimes there's cons. But with those cons come compromise come in marriage. On. Preach to me. When you're by yourself, you don't have anybody to compromise with. Preach. The con is the con. Yep. So just think about that. Preach to me. That's the analogy I like to use. Because well, I mean, and, when and, you're lonely, you're lonely. Okay. And 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 and. If and, I'm lonely and he downstairs, I just come downstairs and jump on. And bother me, bothering me. I'll never be bothered. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I, this the whole single versus single versus marriage. I mean, because I laugh because there, there's some people I see that say, "Don't ever get married because mm -hmm. you're not gonna be happy." People who's married not happy. Me personally, I'm personally happy. I'm not saying that because I'm on this camera. I'm just telling you, I'm happy. I'm a happy married man. I don't gotta go out and and play around. And, happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm just being honest though. Another thing too, I hear people say, "Oh, man." Man, you know, our, 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 our people will go back and look at people they used to talk to and say, man, I should have married that person instead of marrying this person. You know Sorry, what I'm reminiscing on the past. So reminiscing on the past. Stay off the people page. <laughs> <laughs> Being nosy. You know what I'm saying? Just, um, it didn't work then and it's not the opposite. Mm -hmm. It won't work now. I know. You know, and, you know? And, and then you get into a relationship and then... Things happen, so it's like you start thinking about the past. Yeah, you start thinking about oh man, you know, 
if this person would have did this or this person or you know I could have been did this this person. I mean it's like now you dwelling on something in the past. You know what I'm saying? And and that's going to affect your relationship. That's going to affect your relationship if you're in one and you're married, and it's going to affect you being in one if you're single. That's if you true. keep worrying about the past. That's true. So, if you're single, like I said, enjoy it, but at the same time, be open, open to being married. Open. Because I guarantee you, when you meet the right person, you'll know. Yeah. You know, if you have any bond in your body that says don't do it, um, like I did the first time, don't do it. <laughs> so like just don't do it you know like if you know like and don't, don't get married because because everybody like else doing it or, or because you feel like you're getting older you're feeling pressured you feeling um you know oh well, my family said i need to go ahead and get this is my last home. resort don't yeah something it. like that like just make sure man that, that you evaluate your situation you know what I'm saying? Don't let your situation turn into a bad destination. Hello, say it again. Don't let your situation turn into a bad destination. You better preach, young man. Preach. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, um, what and else you got? When you're single, the last thing I want to add, this is a big elephant in the room. Ooh. Sex. Ooh. 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 You're not getting sex on the regular. You may have your regular person or whatever, but it's, just, it's not the same. Let's what? be honest. What? It's not the same. So you telling me when you sing, go ahead, somebody preach. You got getting sex every day. Period. You could. You could. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort and a lot of stupid time. Yeah. Okay. It's too much. It's and then you nobody wanna keep sleeping with random people, let's be honest. It just get tiresome, so you, it's not something you want to do. And especially women, women, most women, I'm gonna say all, it's just not something they want to do. Mm. It, it may be a little different for men. You know, but when it comes to the men, you know, sometimes, you know, men, they just, we have problems in that area, you know, but we well, get, shut up. we get better though. And they get older, they get better. Matter of fact, I went to a men's meeting, and uh, I don't call out no names, I'm just listening. I'm always paying attention. And some men said, um, as they got older, um, they wanted every day. Some men said, as they got older, they wanted twice a week. Some men said, they happy to get it once a week. Um, one man said that he liked the availability to have it. So he don't want to come home from work and his wife is sleeping. He want her to be up and dress sexy. Even though he might not have sex with her, but he liked to, that knowing that he can get it in time. <laughs> So I'm just letting you know that every man is different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but at the same time, as the studies show, I don't know. I always watch the studies. That watch your studies. the old, yeah, reading, watching <laughs> all the, the, the older men get um, if they're not using Viagra, the less sex they have. But the older women get the more sex they want. Woo! Bring that thing. Bring that thing over here. <laughs> Y'all see what I got to do. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. But anyway. Go ahead. Yes. So do you want to be single That's in 2020? So do you want to be single in 2020 or do you want to be married in 2020? You know what I'm saying? So and don't say anything you're married. Sex, that gotta be a thought. You know, like, that's part of the issue too. Hey, like when you hey. single, it's like, if hey. you want it, then if you get it from Joe, then you a hoe. Cause thought he thought not that. your boyfriend or your husband. Like. Don't feel like that. If uh -huh. you feel like you got a need and you want to get it satisfied, yeah, get satisfied. What you do, boo? Yeah. Enjoy yourself. You yeah. ain't got to tell the whole world what you do. Um, Don't you get pregnant it. from them, though. <laughs> you going to be. You are going preach, to Preach, young be. man, preach. I'm sorry. Anyways, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, that, that's what I was, I don't know, he went all on the <laughs> tangent, but... It's just that when you're single, most of the time you're not having steady sex, okay? okay. It's, it's just not happening. Mm. When you're married, you should get it on the regular. I'm not going to say that you do, but you should. Okay? Um, you always got a travel partner. When you're single, you, most of the time, you're, looking. you're in the picture by yourself. You might have somebody with you, but you're in the picture you by yourself. Them, you don't want to show them. You don't want to show them yet. You know, it's just a lot you're dealing with. Or you may travel by yourself. People get tired of talking by themselves. Sometimes you want somebody to with you. So, old. those type of things get old. So, single versus married. If it gets old, it's not get old. Y'all drop your comments below and let us know. Please drop your comments below. Sorry, I'm in hype. <laughs> because I, I think, I think, no, no. no. I'm a, everybody about your hand right now. I'm believing in this 2020. Said, we were no, not going to get physical. We was not. I'm not getting, I'm not getting physical. I'm just wanna, I want to speak into.
into your life right now. I want you to, right now in 2020, if, you, if you're not in a relationship right now, I'm speaking to somebody that you find somebody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm speaking that to your life. That's so sweet. Oh, no. And if you if, if you're in a marriage right now, I'm speaking that prosperity will be over your marriage. And plenty of sex. And plenty of sex and, and, and whatever you want to call it. But I don't want this to be a sermon. I'm just, I'm just being goofy today, man. I don't really care. He, uh, yeah, he, I'm on cloud 10. Because right I'm happily married. I'm on cloud 10, man. So, yes, enjoy whatever you are in this stage in your life. Enjoy Come it. Come on. And he spoke all these good things over Come your on. life. And so I hope all of it happens. Come on. And we are going to end this video on this note. <laughs> on this note. The Christian on T, he going to tell y'all some old oh, hoes to us. Hey, I want to tell y'all something before I tell you something before I go. And remember, this is Relationship Rehab. We want to make sure that you rejuvenate, uh, rejuvenate restore, and relate yes. and, and with your relationships, man. Because I'm telling you guys, you can do it, man. You can do it. You can find that special someone. We believe in your marriage. You already have that special someone. I believe in your relationship, not just your marriage. If you're with somebody and you're not married well, yet, you I'm finish. speaking over your relationship. I just said marriage okay. first. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we believe in your relationship, your marriage, Come anything on. that you got going on. With yes. you, even if you're single, I believe that you're going to find somebody that yes. you enjoy. Speak that might be one person. Maybe it's two, three, four, five. Amen. Whatever makes you happy. Enjoy Amen. it, okay? Amen. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Bell. Let us know um, so you can know when we post videos and podcasts. Uh, post a lot. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.